Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Katie Samuel, and uh, this is your favorite snow farmer. <laughs> anyway, so um, I get a lot of comments under my videos, and I want to address this once and for all. So the reason why I suggest the dimension of the pen to be 2.5 feet by 5 feet is because look this system is very much controlled you have control over everything that happens here so it, when you're standing here you should be able to have access to this part of the wall and go in there so that if there's if there's any predator that has um, 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 found itself in here you can quickly identify it and then take it out of the snow pen. I hope you understand me. So, if it is beyond 2.5 feet, let's say it is 3 feet, some people even do their, their pen 4 feet by 5 feet. What happens is that when you are standing at the end of the 4 feet and you stretch your hand, you will not be able to touch the end. And so then it it's, it's limits you. You are not able to control everything that goes on in your pen. So that is for the dimension. And a lot of people would say that, oh, I, I, did a, I did a pen system and the snails died and blah, blah, blah. But really, when you do your investigation, you realize that they did not tick all the boxes for a proper trench housing system. So when you, when you look down here, you see that here we have a trench. And so no ant is able to climb and cross this trench because we have water sitting here. That is the situation. That is why it has the name trench. So your farm needs to have the trench there to stop ants, centipedes, and all crawling insects from crossing and coming inside. Of course, the wire mesh over here also stops rats and mice from having access, and even houseflies. And also, when you look inside the, the pen, you realize that we have cemented it. We have even cemented it beneath. So no ant is able to travel from outside the pen under the soil or under the i mean inside the earth and come and appear in the pen it is not possible so this housing system if you do not cement the beneath what you are going to have is what you currently see on your screen you are going to be having ants you are going to be having in fact um this is a it's a farm the one you currently see on your video this is a farm of somebody who did not do a trench around his pens did not also cement the beneath and then we found a whole colony of dangerous ants inside his pen we also found um centipede we found all sort of things we even found a, a very interesting snail that looks cute i posted a, a video of it on my um shots it's called a glass snail this glass snail what it does is that well it likes to eat um, um dried leaves and then uh, dry steaks and all of that but it also eats your hatchlings and then your eggs so if you do not treat your leaves you find them on your cocoa leaves or your mulch and then they will be attacking your snow so you see that your snow farm doesn't seem to grow because these snails that look cute are found there and they are killing them and so if you want to have things right please make sure you check all the boxes make sure you treat your soil before you put it in there make sure you treat your leaves before you put it in there and even the soil it doesn't stay there for forever we need to take it out after a certain time and then replace it with, with soil because um, at a point it gets acidic it gets toxic so these things is very important this is what makes this system um, labor intensive that's why you need workers that understand what they are doing workers that have gotten the proper training else you'll be doing this system and then you still be losing money so please make sure you have the right information make sure you speak to the right people who are directing you on how to do the right things anyway thank you for watching this video i hope it makes sense to you god bless you and then you can always reach out to me bye